Hello, and welcome to the Reselling Report for today, Thursday, May 7th, 2020. I'm your host, Ann Eckhart, and every weekday morning I upload the Reselling Report here to YouTube to update you on the day's retail and e-commerce news, including the latest from eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and Poshmark. If you haven't done so already, I hope you'll subscribe. And now let's get on with today's show. So we're almost to the weekend, although self-quarantine is any day different from the other. More things continue to open up, however, in the United States, despite the fact that the coronavirus cases and deaths continue to increase. But it seems as though our country is taking the approach of we have to get things back open. If you can stay home, stay home. Those who are vulnerable need to self-quarantine, but everybody else is not going to be able to stay home or doesn't have to anymore. So there's it's there's no winning in any of this. Uh, we all stay home, the economy collapses. We all go out, the coronavirus kills more people. So I'm doing what I'm doing. I keep telling my dad, we can only control what we do. We're going to stay home. If I do go out, wear a mask, get what I need to get done, done and come back home. And that kind of seems to be where the country is headed. Uh, More retail is opening. The Gap is opening 800 stores by the end of May. They join Macy's, Nordstrom, Abercrombie & Finch, and Chico's taking steps to open up business. Of course, some shopping malls have started to reopen despite the fact that the individual stores themselves uh, may not yet be open. But it seems like more companies are pushing towards the reopening. Thrift stores have started opening. So if your thrift stores are back open in your neck of the woods and you are outsourcing again, um, let me know. I know a lot of people were running out of inventory. So if you needed things to sell and are able to get out, I hope you're able to do so safely, get what you need, get back home. That was a really good tip that I heard or maybe read online where they said, You know, if you're going to go out, right, you do everything you can. You wear your mask, you social distance from people, stand away from them, and also only go to one place. Don't decide that you're going to go out to eat, and then you're going to go shopping, and then you're going here, they go there. Do one thing. Go to one store, make it quick, as quick as you can, and then go home. Get cleaned up, because with the virus, it's about prolonged exposure. The longer you are somewhere near somebody who might have it, and again, Most people who catch the virus uh, are asymptomatic. They don't know they have it. And even if they do end up developing symptoms, it could be days later. So they could be walking around completely fine, but yet have it. And the longer you're exposed to other people who potentially may have the virus, that puts more of a risk on you. So get where you need to go, do what you need to do, and then come home. And then if you feel like next day you need to go someplace else, do that. But I hope you are safe and well and taking precautions wherever you are. And as for me and my house, we are staying at home unless I have to go out and get milk and oranges, but otherwise staying at home. Turning now to the reselling platforms themselves, there is eBay news today. I don't think I had any yesterday. So there is a new post up on the announcements board over on the eBay community section, and it is from Marnie Levine, I believe is how you pronounce her name, the vice president seller operations and engagement vice president. (laughs) This post uh, is titled Connect and Power Community Since 1995. As we begin to get ready to celebrate eBay's 25th anniversary, let's take some time to reflect on what you have built on our platform. Over the years, a lot has changed, but one thing remains the same, the strength of our community. Even through this time of uncertainty, it is you, our sellers, who shine through. You have remained focused, worked tirelessly to get people what they want and need most. Thank you. We can't begin to tell our 25th story without hearing about yours first. We will be creating a mini-series documentary telling amazing seller stories to celebrate our 25th year. We know this milestone would not be possible without the millions of sellers who power our marketplace. Whether you are a new seller or have been selling for years, we want to hear from you. I invite you to find a quiet corner and take our survey to tell us your story. We will then share many of the stories as part of our 25th anniversary celebrations through ebay.com, our social channels, podcasts, and marketing campaigns. We'll invite our customers to share in your journey and visit your eBay store. Because of the human form of e-commerce, we want to bring forward the faces behind the listings. Looking ahead to our next 25 years, connect, empower, and community will remain at the heart of everything we do. And it goes on a little bit more to go over those three points, but basically there is a new survey up that you can take to tell your story to eBay and see if you will get featured in their little promo that they're putting together. 
In another post uh, under the announcement sections on the eBay community forum, this is from Jordan Sweetnam, the SVP and general manager of the America's Market. And this post is titled, Your Business, Our Results. Jordan Sweetnam, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, And the post reads, we're living through unprecedented times. It's been said over and over, yet seems to be the only way to describe the past two months. Has it been two months? Oh my gosh. (laughs) Kind of feels like two years and in other ways, two weeks, but two months. uh. In the face of sweeping changes from how we live to how we run our businesses, I'm amazed at the resilience and determination of you, our seller community. Last week, we reported our Q1 earnings and shared some initial updates on how the global pandemic is impacting our business. Despite one of the most challenging quarters in history, eBay drove strong results with key metrics such as buyers, GMV, and revenue performing at or better than our expectations. As I mentioned on Facebook, none of this would be possible without our incredible seller community. Through the uncertainty and challenges, your commitment has never wavered, and you continue to deliver to our buyers around the world. Thank you for everything that you do. We're grateful and proud to be in this together with you. Today, I want to dive deeper into our Q1 results and what that means for you. Overall, eBay had a strong start to the year. Our volume is accelerating, and managed payments uh, and ads are delivering growth and are on track to long-term success. The uh, that was a um, editorial comment on my part, but anyway, we are executing our product roadmap of improving buyer and seller experience and conversion. Before we even felt the full global impact of COVID-19, our underlying business performance was better than our expectation. Next section is COVID impact on Q1 performance and beyond. Through mid-March, volume was accelerating and we were tracking above the high end of our revenue and earnings guidance range. Late in March, we began to see a more pronounced impact of the global pandemic. Our marketplace volume further accelerated as you stepped up to serve the increasing needs of buyers around the world, quickly getting their items out the door. While other online retailers struggled to keep up with demand, the broad-based eBay network of sellers expanded what was available for sale. You kept shipping and shipping quickly. In April, we saw a huge surge in buyer demand, resulting in double-digit marketplace volume growth. Next category is categories, <laughs> driving our growth. In March and the first part of April, the strength was driven by confinement categories, meaning items that people increasingly needed as they prepared or adjusted to shelter-in-place mandates. Buyers were focused on products for home offices, gym equipment, and indoor leisure activities like video games and consoles. Most recently, we've seen lift in other categories as buyers have started expanding their online shopping, ranging from pools and pet grooming to skateboards and soap making kits. I'd like to know if anyone in the reseller community is shipping pools. Have you shipped a swimming pool lately? On Saturday, I, this is Jordan, back to Jordan again, I shared the latest marketplace trends from April. That was earlier in the week we talked about that. Strong traffic happening outside of the confinement categories as people rediscovered old hobbies and uncovered new ones. Buyers are coming to eBay for our unparalleled selection and are finding the depth of our classic categories like arts and collectibles. We will continue to keep updated as consumer purchase behavior evolves. This growth has been broad-based across most categories and conditions. There's never been a better time to step up and to be up and running on eBay. Up next in North America, so... This is for us if you're in America or North America. I guess Canada too. So US and Canada. This week, we will launch new marketing campaigns to continue to drive new buyers to the site. The creative builds on Up and Running, a program meant to show the world that hundreds of thousands of small businesses are always up and running on eBay. This work encompasses both brand new and fully established sellers and reflects our marketplace where approximately 70% of GMV comes from smaller, medium-sized businesses. The commercials will run across radio, display, digital video, and paid social media. In addition to the tens of millions of dollars we already spend on performance marketing every month, we're investing the upside from our current volume strength into broadcast and digital campaigns in Q2 to further support the U.S. marketplace. We've heard often, you've heard often from me about how we are being strategic with our marketing dollars, and this new campaign reflects the changing market dynamics and the opportunity we have to really go out and drive the eBay brand message. Etsy has really been running a lot of ads, so I it's good to see that eBay's going to get on track with that because I've been seeing Etsy ads all over television, all over social media. So thank goodness it sounds like eBay's going to kind of get in there too now. Uh, this post concludes 
Since the peak of the pandemic, we've taken steps to implement relief for you, deferred pay fee payments, added seller protection, and 100,000 incremental free listings. The listing promotion has been very popular and was recently extended through the end of July with 50,000 additional free fixed price listings per month for store sellers and 200 additional free listings per month for non-store sellers. These actions reflect a commitment from eBay North America to deploy up to $100 million in support programs for sellers. So nice post there from Jordan. Um, I'm glad to see that ads are going to be coming out. I think that is important. Like I said, Etsy is hammering the media with ads. And I have seen Poshmark ads as well, though. Etsy seems more than anybody. So uh, eBay definitely needs to get in there and uh, remind people that there's everything in the world for sale on eBay, and most of us ship within a day or two, unlike Amazon, where things are taking two weeks. So I uh, my sales continue to be steady. I know a lot of people have seen an uptick in sales. Of course, it depends on what you sell. So I hope everyone uh, is doing well, and I'm looking forward to see what kind of commercials eBay comes up with. And one last bit of eBay news for today. There is a new post over on LinkedIn from the new CEO of eBay, Jamie Ioni, that's titled Coming Home to eBay in a Change World. His post reads, I am thrilled to return to eBay and honored to write this first post as CEO. As I step into this role, I feel as if I'm coming home. It's been nearly two decades since I first joined the eBay team and as clear to me today as it was when I first started that eBay is a company of purpose. Today, that purpose is as strong as ever. This is the magic of eBay. At its core, eBay is a marketplace, a bridge between needs and solutions, connecting people, creating economic opportunities, and making a difference around the world. In these unprecedented times, I'm especially proud to be able to help drive this purpose. eBay is a special place for me. It's where I've spent a significant part of my career and where I first learned what it was like to work for a purpose-driven company whose team strives every day toward a shared goal. Looking back, those early experiences would become something I would carry with me throughout my career. Now, as much of the world navigates uncharted and increasingly turbulent waters, I am proud to see eBay's steady purpose manifest itself in new and exciting ways as the company does everything we can do to support its buyers and sellers as COVID-19 continues to affect communities and day-to-day -day life across the country and around the world. I see the eBay purpose when I look at the efforts underway in several of our 190 markets around the world through programs like Up and Running in North America, Always Open in Australia, Open for Business in the UK, and We Are Open in Germany. Why couldn't they just pick one tagline for the whole thing? We all have a different one? Oh. Anyway, maybe Up and Running would mean something different to Germans. I don't know. Anyway, back to the post. These programs were built with the sole purpose of helping small businesses without an e-commerce presence transition to selling online when so many brick-and-mortar shops are forced to shutter. In the UK, we're partnering with the NHS, the Department of Health and Social Care, and others, and the DHSC to pilot a new platform to supply primary care and social care providers access to PPE for free. I look forward to continuing similar efforts that focus on improved user experience and provide more tools for sellers and small businesses. I see the beating, vibrant heart of eBay in each and every person who connects through our marketplace. As we celebrate eBay's 25th anniversary this year, I look back on our journey from Silicon Valley trailblazer and innovator to e-commerce mainstay. That foundation joined with our purpose underpins our vision as we push forward. And then he just thanks um, the current CEO, the interim CEO, Scott Schnenkel, for his service, and um, thus concludes the eBay post. So um, it's exciting to see what our new CEO will bring to the site. Again, he's been, uh, he has a history with eBay. He worked for eBay for a number of years in the past. So we'll see what uh, his ideas for the site are as he steps into his new role. Turning now to Etsy, Josh Silverman has posted on the Etsy seller handbook page on their site, recognizing everything our community has accomplished together. During these challenging times, the Etsy community has come together to do amazing things. The post reads, "With two, when 2.7 million people work together, amazing things can happen. I wanted to take a moment to recognize what we've all accomplished in the past few weeks. You've shown the world how much of an impact a community of makers can be. You rose to the challenge and made masks for millions, the post said nearly 50,000 sellers have sold at least one mask and that Etsy has stepped up to get masks to essential workers who need them most by partnering with Nest, a nonprofit dedicated to building the handmade economy. Etsy is donating masks and covers to frontline workers and vulnerable communities. 
Post also says, we invested millions in advertising to increase traffic to your shop. And like I said, I see it. I see the ads on TV, on YouTube, on social media. Uh, their stand with small campaign. And it says that Etsy invested more than $5 million in offsite ads credits to bring in more shoppers to Etsy and promote um, shop products. Next section says we made sure independent business owners were included in major bills and reliefs packages. Together, we fought to make sure small business owners like you were included in coronavirus aid packages. I'm right there with you in this fight. I've spoken directly to members of Congress on both sides of the aisle to advocate for micro businesses. I also wrote opinion pieces for Fortune Magazine and The Hill, telling legislators and the world how important it is to include the self-employed in these bills. You did your part, too. In the U.S., more than 30,000 sellers wrote to your representatives, encouraging them to include micro-business owners and the self-employed in the coronavirus aids, reliefs, and economic security. Those acts. That's the CARES Act, which was signed into law in the United States on March 27th. In the United Kingdom and European Union, we also rallied sellers to ensure that small business owners would get the support they needed during this time. We're just getting started. This is a challenging time, but it is temporary. At Etsy, we're committed to helping Etsy sellers thrive. No matter what's going on in the world, we'll continue to give you the support you need. We've got your back. And then they link to the ultimate guide to running your shop during COVID-19, which does have a lot of uh, tips and tricks uh, to help you during this time. So that's the latest direct post from Etsy. Apparently, Drew Barrymore is a big fan of Etsy. According to a post on Vogue.com titled, Drew Barrymore Delivers a Heartwarming Ode to Etsy, uh, the article reads, like many people who are at home during COVID-19, Drew Barrymore has been doing some online shopping. The actress is not placing orders to big box retailers or sterile online monoliths, but rather shopping locally, albeit from afar, by using Etsy. Today, she took to Instagram to send out word of admiration for the platform, which is shown for its vintage wares and homemade crafts. In pure Barrymore casual fashion, her hair in a loose bun, a f- fresh face sans makeup, and a tie-dye shirt, she spoke to the camera about her love for Etsy, which she kicked off by noting it was not a paid advertisement. I just wanted to give a shout out to Etsy. I wanted to say that they are doing so many things right in this time, and a special shout out to all the Etsy vendors. Barrymore went on to highlight all of those right things, such as all the sweet, often information-packed notes from sellers that have come with their Etsy purchases. Recently, she is buying arts, mask, masks, and pencils. There have been handwritten letters explaining where items are sourced from and who made them. For instance, one personal note said she that her mask was made by the seller's mother. Barrymore finished off the video with the following message. I am just sending this out to say thank you to each and every one of those people who is getting stuff done and getting it out to you quickly and incredibly thoughtful. And shout out to to being able to support the economy from a place and in a way that feels very life-affirming. Who would have thought a video about e-commerce site could well be so emotional? Barrymore certainly got the timing right. Local businesses are under financial pressure to close or cease production, and so supporting them, even if it's online, is a positive move. Turning now to Poshmark. Poshmark has updated their Posh Life blog with Poshmom stories. So if you're interested in reading those, talking to women who are mothers who are also selling on Poshmark, they've put up a new inspirational quote on their Facebook page. My hobbies include finding it for a better price on Poshmark. And then the latest post is for what is trending on Poshmark. Now, I don't know if these are just recycled things that they've already shared with us. The post said the weather is heating up and so are these brands in categories. So I had to see the top brands from these categories in the last month. And then it says, no, indicates these brands are currently trending comparing March versus April. Well, we're now into May, Poshmark. But anyway, what's trending on Poshmark? Swim, sunglasses, and sandals. And then the brands in the swim category, Billabong, Frankie's Bikinis, and Victoria's Secret. In the sunglasses, Gucci, Ray-Ban, Ray-Ban and Qua Australia, Q-U-A-W. I'm sure someone will correct me on that. And then for sandals, they have Birkenstock, Steve Madden, Chaco, Tiva, Crocs, and Tory Burch. So swimsuits, sunglasses, and sandals. Get them up right now on Poshmark. People are buying. And that's a wrap on today's show. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment, even if it's just a hello or an emoji. That engagement really does help with YouTube's analytics. And 
I thank you guys so much because ever since I started asking for comments, I've been getting a lot more, which I really, really appreciate. Be sure to check out the show notes below the video for links to the articles I referenced. You can email me with your questions or reseller stories. My email is also linked below. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.